there's probably too many to mention, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, starting as a young fella in, in, in Cannes, um, my old fella, you know, lead, bringing me up and down to training, um, you know, the coaching and advice that I got there. Um, on to school then in praise and, and, and back to Cannes. And then kind of into Munster from there, you know, I've, I've been lucky with the the people I've come across in close quarters that have, have kind of mentored me from a young age and, um, you know, given, given me the, the love for the game, uh, which is, uh, you know, still not, uh, still very much evident today. Yeah, look, trying to keep them at bay at the moment. Um, most important thing is, is Saturday for me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously a, a special occasion for me and, and my family, but it's 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 the most important thing is is, is the match and, and the performance on Saturday. So um, you know that's that's absolutely the focus at the moment. Sure. Peter, uh, congratulations! Is there a part of you that maybe getting back to post 2015 World Cup is even a little bit surprised because you're in the Um, I'm still kind of surprised. Uh, no matter what what year it would have been, um, you know. As I think Pete said, there's, there's ten people of all the people who have made a cap for Ireland have got a hundred of them, and uh, it's kind of it's almost a little bit embarrassing with the names that are are ahead of me. To be honest, um, you know, people I grew up following and um, you know supporting huge inspiration characters, and uh, you know to be the tenth, I don't know, it's going to take some time to settle in. Um, certainly, nothing I ever expected or, or, or dreamed of you know we all talk about having dreams but that one was way off the radar to be honest is there also a part of you that doesn't want too much fuss to oh I would love to be inside there now having a cup of tea with the lads <laughs> this would be the last place I'd sit in front of to be honest with but um, look I'm I, look obviously you know I've I've got some texts already I'm hugely grateful for uh, you know for, for everyone's uh, best wishes and that but um you know, I want to win for the lads at the weekend. That's that's the main thing. You're welcome. And <laughs> Shane Henry. Peter, have you done anything different as you've got older? Like, is there any major change you've made to how you prep or how you train or how you Yeah, look, I've, I've spoken to a few, uh, I suppose, guys who have either finished or at the elder stages of their careers. And, and you know, you, you can't do as much as um, uh, the young guys do these days. You know some of the uh, some of the extras you'd see guys doing afterwards and, and pre pre training. Um, I, I just can't physically do them, and and so I need to use the sessions as diligently as I can to get as much you know fitness, uh, you know ball play, whatever I need to do. I need to get that in session really, um, because obviously I'm, I'm I'm pushing on a bit, so it's. Uh, it's changed in those a few dynamics, you know, stuff in the gym that I need to change that, you know, a few years ago I would have been flying, but you just need to manage the body a bit more. And, and the main thing for me is, is the Saturday. It's, it's about getting yourself prepared and ready for, uh, for test matches on, on the weekend. Um, so th there's certainly adjustments that have to be made. And, and I've had some good guys who were, have, um, looked after me through the years, S and C wise and, and obviously coaches and, and as I said, people who, who uh, take care of me. Birdie, then, huh? Peter, a lot of people say that that's going to be a career. Um, I think it's the players uh, predominantly. Um, I think players and, and, and coaches, you know, the, the standard of training that we're, we're at during the week. I'm sure Josh would agree is is of a level that you can't but learn and, and get better. And um you know, you know, our coaches are are opening their eyes up to what potential that we have at times, which is uh you know, sometimes not that you put a ceiling on yourself, but it's it's uh stuff that you mightn't have had on your radar that that is possible and um I think this group of of players, particularly, you know, never cease to amaze me the the quality of of uh, of rugby that they can play. And um, when you're around it as as much as I've been lucky enough to be around it, um, you know, 
you know, without doing much, you're picking up stuff and, and, you know, we're about doing a lot. So it's, it's easy to pick up some, some good tips. Yeah, look, it's, 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 it's our be all and end all. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say that lightly. Yeah, uh, and it's the same for every team in this competition. Um, you know, every team that makes this competition is in this country to win it. And, and, and we're no different. And, and certainly, you know, I've spoken about it already people talking about us, you know, not being able to, to get past certain hurdles, you know, this is the biggest hurdle of our tournament so far. And, and, and that's the way we're considering, you know, it's, it's been an incredible build up and lead in, and we've had some, some good performances, but, um, you know, we're considering Scotland as, as, uh, you know, the team, they are an incredible threat to, uh, to our campaign and, uh, and our journey, which we want to, to kick on. Oh, there's never a danger of that. Um, I suppose initially there is a bit of it, but y you know yourself, it's it's not about it's not about obviously training is hugely important, and and you know our standards are through the roof, but you know it's about if I can be physically able to play the weekend and, and being the best possible Nick, then, you know, I'm, I'm normally in a good place. Whereas if I'm going chasing stuff down that, um, you know, a lot of times, you, you know, you have tendencies in bigger weeks to do more because oh, it's a big week and we've got to get through more. And it's something we've learned over time, particularly with this group, probably less is more at times, you know, to keep, to keep the juice in the legs. And, um, I suppose that's, that's an analogy that I've used a little bit more as I got a bit older. Yeah. I'm just trying to trying to have, uh, just trying to prepare as it is another test match for me, you know. Um, and hopefully, get all this stuff out of the way. As early as possible, and um, you know, I, it's certainly going to have a sit down and think. The odd time I'm 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 sitting on my own, having a coffee, and um, and have a quick think about it. But you know, as I said, you know, there's there's going to be. I'm hoping there's going to be bigger moments uh, in my career than this one. You know what I mean? And hopefully, in 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 the near future. So, um, so my, my firm focus will be on. On Saturday, and my performance in the weekend again. Thanks. Last couple. Uh, you saw him very eloquently there, almost in order of those who've gone before you. As Anthony, come to your mind at all here? You're in Paris. He was a long time teammate. It was a very traumatic time for the club. Has he, has he come to your mind at all on this, this whole club? Yeah, look, um, it was funny. Uh, myself and Johnny had a conversation about it. Uh, I think it was on the way to the South African game actually about uh you know, sometimes it is weird to to be in Paris and, and think about uh Axel and, and, and what happened. Um you know, it's uh it certainly has obviously a, an incredibly sad memory for uh particularly that monster team that were 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 in Paris that week and um Johnny spoke about uh, some uh, I'm not gonna go into it now, but he made a couple of lovely gestures to the family afterwards, but it's it's Axel's always some somebody that um certainly is is in my head um you know on a very regular basis and and as you said when you come to Paris um it's certainly uh he's certainly come to mind of of the fondest memories that we had together and um you know the amount of inspiration that he gave to uh to not just me to to lots of young kids in in Munster and, and Ireland um as I said, very fond, fond memories.